This is the Realme C33 I have in front of me and today we would like to demonstrate and highlight the top 5 pro tips and features for this device. So to begin with I would like to show how you can set up the fingerprint unlock method. So first of all open settings then enter the security category onwards in here go for the face and fingerprint unlock section choose what uh, backup screen lock method you would like to go alongside the biometrical one so you can either choose uh, well pattern pin or password i'll go with pattern then enter it then redraw it to confirm then choose what notification content you would like to well be visible at the lock screen then over here tap on the fingerprint section more more i agree then start touching the sensor that is located at the right, or should I rather say side power button. Just keep laying and lifting your finger onto the scanner until the entire surface surface of your fingerprint will be scanned. Make sure to slightly rotate your finger each time you do that to help the scanner out a bit. So my fingerprint has been successfully edited. Let me quickly test it out, How see how well it works. As you can see, the screen gets unlocked without any issues at all. And well, relatively swiftly, if you ask me, uh, the one last thing I would like to test is whether it will recognize other fingers. Well, it does not. That's, well, <laughs> good to know. So, moving on to the next function that is located at the display category. It is called the uh, night light. Once enabled, as you can see, it dims the, or should I say tints, tints the screen amber, uh, reduces the blue light amount that you receive from the screen, um, thus uh, drastically improves your, well, I mean, make your eyes less tired, uh, reduces the eye fatigue and all that good stuff, good stuff. Here you have a bar to adjust the intensity of this effect, increase or respectively decrease its temperature. So, um, Give me just a moment. Next uh, tip, or should I say feature, is uh, located at the accessibility settings. It is called the magnification, and it's a tool that allows you to zoom into, well, your screen or any interface elements that you would like to, uh, well, see better, should I rather say. So in here, find the accessibility category, then find the magnification tool, here it is. Switch this feature on, then this little shortcut appears. So basically, if you would like to enable, it will be accessible from, well, at all times, uh, whatever app you use. So if you would like to zoom into something, tap on this little icon, then you have, you'll get this little orange frame, that means that the feature is active, then tap at the screen zone that you would like to zoom into, and, well, regulate the zoom scale by making the following shrinking and unshrinking swipe. There is also the second mode in which this tool can work. Uh, there is a little moving magnifying glass that you can move around your screen. And the only, like the zone that this glass is, that this little frame captures will be magnified. Uh, you can also change the scale of zoom inside the magnifying glass. And once you're ready to quit the magnification, uh, or turn it off, just tap on the same shortcut like so. The next feature uh, or a small tip or option, whatever, is located at the battery category of settings. As you can see right now at the status bar, I'm not able to see the battery percentage in order for me to be able to understand how much battery I have left exactly is to swipe downwards and open the notification panel and it will be displayed right over here. If I would like to have it at all times and have it right next to the battery icon, just switch on the battery percentage toggle like so. Already, so moving on to fifth and final uh, feature or setting that we wanted to highlight today, that is located at the system category at the gestures and system navigation. So as you can see up until now, uh, throughout this whole video, I've been using the gestures to navigate through my system, but if you are an well, old school person, should I say, or just a person who prefers digital buttons, you can switch the system navigation type to digital, digital buttons without any issues or problems whatsoever. 
and now those three virtual buttons will be used for navigating via the interface of your smartphone. Alrighty, so that would be it, not only for this uh, final tip, but for the video in general. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for your attention, and bye-bye.